So this is our air core carbon fiber wheel for the Regera. Uh, it has a new design, as you can see, from the Agera type carbon fiber wheel. This moment changed everything. A quiet revolution in a small Swedish workshop sent shockwaves through the global automotive world. So why did you decide to build this car? It was my childhood dream. I had a dream since I can remember I was five, six years old. While the giants raced to build heavier batteries and bigger factories, a tiny company dared to rethink what power means. Their new electric motor, light as a dog, yet mighty enough to rival the fastest cars on Earth. This is one of the fastest cars in the world. It can go from zero to 60 miles an hour in 2.8 seconds. Unveiled a future that no one saw coming. And watching it all unfold live, the man who once ruled the electric car kingdom faced a moment of truth unlike any before. This isn't just technology, it's the start of a new era. A quiet storm in the automotive world. The automotive world was comfortable, almost too comfortable. For years, Tesla had ruled the electric car scene. Elon Musk was more than a CEO. He was a visionary who changed how the world saw transportation. Heavy batteries, software updates, massive factories were Tesla's formula for success. Everyone believed it. Investors cheered. Competitors struggled to catch up. But beneath the calm surface, a quiet storm was gathering. Far away in a small Swedish town, Koenigsegg, a company barely known to many, was working in silence. They weren't building giant factories or chasing headlines. Instead, they focused on precision, on daring to rethink electric power itself. Then came the announcement. The Dark Matter Motor. Not just a name, but a promise. A motor weighing just 86 pounds, but packing an unheard of 800 horsepower. That's like putting a beast into something the size of a small dog. It was impossible, or so the world thought. This was more than just an upgrade or a tweak. It was a fundamental challenge to everything Tesla had built. Suddenly, heavy battery packs looked outdated. Range worries seemed less urgent. The future of electric cars didn't look like what Musk had promised. It looked like something new, lighter, stronger, and faster. The quiet storm had arrived. Breaking the mold with carbon fiber. Koenigsegg's secret wasn't just power, it was weight. Traditional electric motors relied on steel heavy magnetic steel that made motors bulky and limited their performance. But Koenigsegg threw out the old playbook. Instead of steel, they built the motor's entire structure from carbon fiber, a material known for strength and lightness, but never before used in production electric motors at this scale. This wasn't a small change. It was revolutionary. Carbon fiber could withstand the intense magnetic forces and heat generated inside an electric motor. But no one had dared to try. The challenges were enormous. Manufacturing, durability, and cost all had to be solved. Koenigsegg's engineers created a new six-phase winding system, doubling the usual number of phases to spread out the magnetic load. This clever design reduced heat buildup and made power delivery smoother. The motor ran cooler, more efficiently, and was incredibly light. They didn't stop at the motor. Their inverter, the device that controls the motor, was made from silicon carbide and weighed only 33 pounds. It could push 1,300 amps at 850 volts, delivering energy like a power plant in a suitcase. When Christian von Koenigsegg held the motor in his arms on camera, the message was clear. Electric motors didn't need to be heavy or compromised. They could be light, powerful, and efficient. The foundation of electric vehicles had just been rewritten. Elon Musk's moment of truth. The news hit like a thunderclap. Tesla's founder, Elon Musk, watched as Koenigsegg's breakthrough spread across the world. For years, Musk had been the undisputed king of electric vehicles. His vision of battery-powered cars had shaped an industry. But this new motor challenged everything he believed. Just days after Koenigsegg's unveiling, Musk appeared on a major financial news show, expecting to celebrate Tesla's latest success. Instead, the interviewer pressed him on the dark matter motor. How would Tesla respond to a motor that was lighter, more powerful, and built on an entirely different philosophy? Musk's usual confidence cracked. For a long moment, silence hung heavy. His eyes widened, his lips twitched, and his posture shifted. When he finally spoke, his voice was different, less sure, 
less certain. He acknowledged Koenigsegg's innovation but downplayed its scalability, suggesting Tesla's approach was built for the masses, not just prototypes. The camera caught it all. For the first time, the man who had seemed invincible appeared vulnerable. Moisture gathered in his eyes. A brief, angry mutter escaped, you idiots, before he corrected himself, blaming the market and media hype. The world saw a shift. Tesla was no longer the uncontested leader. Musk's moment of doubt was a crack in the armor, signaling that a new challenge had arrived. The quiet Swedish company had rattled the throne. The hybrid revolution begins. Koenigsegg didn't just stop at a revolutionary motor. They had a bigger plan, one that threatened to upend the electric vehicle world entirely. At a private event, Christian von Koenigsegg revealed more of their vision. The dark matter motor was only the start. Alongside the motor, they developed a new battery system with an innovative cooling technology. Instead of cooling just the bottom of battery cells, their system flooded the entire pack with a special non-conductive oil. This kept batteries cooler for longer, allowing higher performance without added weight. However, the true game-changer was the hybrid powertrain they introduced in the Gemra hypercar. This beast combined the dark matter electric motor with a twin-turbo V8 engine, the two worked seamlessly, delivering over 2,300 horsepower in total. What made it special was how lightweight and efficient it was, far surpassing traditional electric-only designs. This hybrid setup challenged the core of Tesla's vision. While Tesla bet everything on pure electric, Koenigsegg offered a smarter, lighter, and more powerful alternative. It wasn't just about batteries anymore. It was about combining the best of both worlds. The Gemra could sprint to 60 mile per hour in under 1.9 seconds, faster than anything Tesla had produced. It was a bold statement. The future of performance cars might not be all electric. This sent shockwaves through the industry, forcing everyone to rethink what came next. Tesla's crisis deepens. The impact of Koenigsegg's breakthrough rippled beyond headlines and interviews. Inside Tesla, the atmosphere grew tense. Just two weeks after the Dark Matter Motors debut, the company faced a storm of change. The chief technology officer resigned unexpectedly, citing new opportunities. Then came more departures. Three senior engineers from Tesla's propulsion team followed suit. Rumors spread like wildfire. Tesla insiders whispered about a loss of faith, about cracks forming in the company's core. The innovation that had once driven Tesla now seemed stagnant. Koenigsegg's leap had exposed a vulnerability many feared, but few voiced. An internal memo leaked to the press. It revealed that Tesla had considered carbon fiber motors years before, but abandoned the idea due to high costs and manufacturing challenges. Instead, they chose safer paths, small improvements rather than bold leaps. This is unbelievable. You can adjust everything here. Suspension, standard, low, high. You have traction control, regenerative braking. Koenigsegg's success was a stark reminder that the industry's giants could be blind to revolution. The motor's power, efficiency, and lightness weren't just hype, they were real and scalable. Tesla's stock dropped sharply as investors questioned whether the company could keep up. For the first time, Tesla's leadership was forced to confront a harsh truth. The future might not belong to their old playbook. The company's dominance, once seen as unshakable, was now in jeopardy. Musk's unexpected announcement. As the pressure mounted, Elon Musk faced a crossroads. Investors, employees, and fans all awaited his response. The world expected defiance, a bold new promise. Instead, Musk offered something far more surprising. At a packed press conference, his usual energy was subdued. He spoke candidly about innovation, not as a straight line, but as a series of gambles. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Tesla's bet on battery technology had paid off for over a decade, transforming the auto industry. But now, Musk admitted that Koenigsegg had succeeded with an approach Tesla once considered but abandoned. Their results were undeniable, a wake-up call for the company and the industry. Then came the bombshell. Musk announced he was considering stepping down as Tesla's CEO. The crowd gasped. Cameras flashed. Questions flooded the room. Musk reassured that he would stay on as chairman and chief technology advisor, but Tesla needed fresh leadership to navigate this new era. This moment shattered expectations. The man who had led Tesla's rise was now openly admitting the need for change. 
Was this a sign of defeat or a strategic move to prepare Tesla for its next chapter? Whatever the answer, Musk's announcement sent shockwaves far beyond Tesla's boardrooms. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. The Quantum Leap in Action While the world focused on Tesla's upheaval, Christian von Koenigsegg kept advancing his vision. At a private demonstration, a select group witnessed the dark matter motor come alive. The motor was compact, barely 15 inches across, yet it hummed with a quiet power that belied its size. What stunned the experts was the carbon fiber structure. By replacing heavy steel with precision-engineered carbon fiber, Koenigsegg created a motor that was not only lighter, but also more efficient. Unlike steel, carbon fiber didn't suffer from eddy current losses, meaning more electricity turned into motion instead of heat. The motor was integrated into the Gemra hypercar, paired with a twin-turbo V8 engine. This hybrid setup eliminated the need for a traditional transmission, using clutches to send torque directly to the wheels. The result? A four-seat Grand Tourer that could rocket from 0 to 60 mph per per in under 1.9 seconds. The demonstration left attendees stunned. Tesla's dominance, built over years of hard work, now faced a technology that wasn't just an upgrade, but a fundamental shift. The future of electric propulsion was no longer a certainty. It was an open question. For the first time in years, Tesla was on the defensive. Koenigsegg's innovation had rewritten the rules, challenging the old guard to adapt or fall behind. Tesla's swift response. In the wake of Koenigsegg's breakthrough, Tesla moved quickly. One month after the Dark Matter Motors debut, their engineers unveiled a new powertrain. At first glance, it looked familiar, but beneath the surface, change was clear. The Agera RS, which was an unbelievable and it also managed to take the record for the world's fastest production car ever. Tesla's new motor featured a carbon-aluminium composite housing, which is lighter and stronger than before. It was 40% lighter and 25% more powerful than the previous generation, the result of a focused two-year research effort. The timing suggested a rapid acceleration of plans, likely pushed forward by Koenigsegg's challenge. Tesla emphasized that their design was built for mass production, balancing power with affordability. Unlike Koenigsegg's handcrafted hypercar motor, Tesla's update aimed to reach everyday drivers worldwide. They proudly announced that the new motors would increase their range by 15%, improve acceleration, and maintain stable prices. In a surprising move, Tesla also pledged to open source their motor patents, following the example set in 2014. This positioned Tesla as an industry leader committed to sustainable transport rather than merely protecting its technological edge. The market responded positively. Tesla's stock rebounded and analysts praised their quick pivot. But despite the applause, the gap remained. Tesla's upgrade was evolutionary, while Koenigsegg's was revolutionary. The race was no longer just about speed. It was about who could define the future of electric propulsion. The shift in the electric revolution. Koenigsegg's breakthrough did more than challenge Tesla's technology. It changed the entire narrative of electric vehicles. Their use of carbon fiber, radial flux motors, and six-phase winding systems shattered long-held assumptions. Suddenly, the heavy battery pack wasn't the only path forward. Electric vehicles could be lighter, faster, and more efficient without sacrificing power or range. The hybrid approach Koenigsegg embraced showed that pure electric wasn't the only future. Combining combustion with electric could unlock new possibilities. The automotive world buzzed with speculation. Forums lit up with debates. Industry analysts reconsidered strategies. Manufacturers that once dismissed hybrids as outdated began to rethink their approach. Tesla, once the unquestioned leader, now faced a new reality. Their decade-long bet on battery-only vehicles was no longer a guaranteed path to dominance. The company had to adapt or risk falling behind. Meanwhile, drivers and enthusiasts looked forward to a new era, one where innovation wasn't limited by tradition or dogma. A future where electric propulsion was more than just a niche, it was a revolution with many faces. The electric revolution was no longer a straight line. It had branched into unexpected paths, and the next chapter was wide open. 
Who would lead it? That question lingered as the industry braced for change. The Future of Electric Propulsion After Elon Musk's resignation and Tesla's swift response, the future of electric propulsion felt uncertain but thrilling. Koenigsegg had not only challenged Tesla's dominance, but they had opened a new door. Their dark matter motor was more than just a piece of technology. It was proof that innovation could come from unexpected places. It showed the power of daring to rethink the rules, to combine materials and ideas in ways others feared to try. Tesla's journey was far from over. Their new motors, lighter and stronger, signaled resilience. But the landscape had changed. The old battle between combustion and electricity had evolved into a complex dance, with hybrids leading a new charge. For drivers, this meant better performance, longer range, and lighter cars. For the industry, it meant innovation was no longer a race to the bottom, but a quest for bold new ideas. The electric revolution was no longer about a single company or technology. It was a shared journey toward a cleaner, faster, more exciting future. Koenigsegg's bold leap reminded the world that in innovation, the only constant is change. So what comes next? Will Tesla adapt and reclaim the lead? Or will new players rewrite the rules yet again? The road ahead is wide open and the ride has only just begun. This story isn't just about motors or companies. It's about the spirit of innovation, the courage to challenge what everyone else accepts as fact. Koenigsegg's dark matter motor shook the foundation of an industry, forcing even giants like Tesla to rethink everything. As the electric revolution accelerates, one thing is clear. The future belongs to those who dare to leap beyond limits. What do you think? Has Koenigsegg rewritten the rules forever, or will Tesla rise again? The answers are still unfolding. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.